Welcome to Jeopardy! My name's Austin. Welcome to the 5 o'clock news. My name's Austin. We have a ton of stories to go over today. Hi everybody. Thank you for coming to our second YouTube video. Yay! So we're gonna be playing two truths and a lie, but our variation is gonna be a little bit different. So we're both gonna go through each round, two truths, one lie. The other person is going to have to guess which one of those three statements is the lie. If they guess correctly, they're good. If they don't guess correctly, they get a nice slap of cool whip to the face. We're gonna go until we reach five. If we are tied, then we'll just- Go to overtime. Keep going. I'm actually mad because I just did my makeup and I have to ruin it. You're still gonna look beautiful. Cool. Covered in white. Creamy. Goodness. Ready? Mm -hmm. Two of my teeth are fake. No. My name was almost Danielle. Okay. I tried out for cheerleading. Okay. Which one is the lie? I would believe that you tried out for cheerleading. Cheerleading? Could you play like every sport in high school? You think I have pep? I, I, I believe. Once in a blue moon. I don't believe any of your teeth are fake for the sole fact that you've never had a cavity. I vaguely remember you telling me that like, you were almost named Danielle. Okay. So I'm gonna go with that two of your teeth are fake. Eh, wrong. Two of your teeth are fake? Yeah. So Which two? The, I told you, these two. Right here. Let me see. They're veneers. They're veneers. Four! And I was almost named Samantha, not Danielle. It was a trick question. Got him right away! You're scooping with your hands? Ah! Oh, it got in my eye! <laughs> Let me lick it off. <laughs> do it. Do it. Lick, lick it. Okay, Austin was a big baby and went to go wash off his face, so I told him not to do anymore. I told him to take it like I, a man I, I won't. and leave the whip on his face. Now you just look sweaty and wet. So. Ready? Mm -hmm. I won over 15 raffles in one night. Okay. My biggest raffle win ever mm -hmm. was a vacation. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite games besides Pokemon growing up was Roblox. So I do know that the biggest vacation, the biggest prize you've ever won from a raffle is a vacation. I actually want to, I'm gonna buzz for the first one because because somebody messaged DM'd me on Instagram and or TikTok one time and said I'm this person from Roblox. So I'm, gonna, I'm buzzing for the first one. <laughs> no, okay. That, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what was the lie? The lie was that I played Roblox when I was younger. Oh my God. I actually never played Roblox. Ready? Mm -hmm. I can list all of the six noble gases. I know 90 numbers of pi. And I know the first 25 elements on the periodic table. Okay. I know you can recite a lot of numbers from Pi. I don't know how many, but I know it's a lot. The other one was you can name the six noble gases, uh -huh. which I can't even name. Uh huh. And the last one is you can name the first, I'm gonna go with the six, no. God, that's a hard, why are yours so much harder than mine? Six noble gases, mm -hmm. first 25 elements on the periodic table. Mm -hmm. The first one's Healy, no it's not even, I don't even know. I'm gonna go with you know the six noble gases. That's correct. Oh, yes! Wow. If anyone's actually curious, because I know people are probably like, this wow. Is Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, magnesium, aluminum, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, something, potassium, 
and calcium. I forget, oh my God. Okay, so, but you were correct. Also ready for pi. 3.14159265358979323846264338327950289713995101698209 Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. When I was younger, I was really good at math in like middle school and high school. Okay. In high school, I used to work for a sex toy company, and my dad and I have the same initials. Okay, well I know he used to work for a sex toy company. What were they called? Copy me kits. <laughs> you can Google it, I'm not gonna put them in there. Not, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna discuss it, but RJ, if you happen to see this, I miss you buddy. Hold up. Okay. School. Your dad's name is Adam Shapiro, but I don't know your dad's middle name. Oh, I feel like that would have been a really good thing to try to trick me with. You good at math? <sighs> Initials. You think that's a lie? I'm horrible at math. I almost didn't get into college, remember? I had to drop calculus but day three of college. Element, and you said elementary. I said middle school and high school. No, you didn't. Yes, you said I did. Middle school. Rewind the tape. You said middle school. I said middle school and high school. If you rewind the tape, you'll say. When I was younger, I was really good at math in like middle school and high school. Okay. Austin, I was, you cheated, I was twice. Okay. I was expecting you to slap me. No, I would never slap you. I love you too much. Give me a kiss. Oh. <laughs> Deserve that. <laughs> See how I'm taking it like a champ and you're wiping it, wiping it away every five seconds? What does that show about the relationship? I'm a little bitch. Oh, so far, what, I'm winning by one? Yeah. Okay, ready? When I was 13, I had a really weird obsession with owls. Um, I failed my seventh grade English class, and I pooped my pants in the carousel ride when I was six. You failed English. Why? I, I just don't believe that you ever failed any class, ever in school. I got it wrong, didn't I? Wait, before you do it, what was it? I pooped my pants in the carousel ride when I was six. Who poops their pants in the carousel ride? Someone who took a laxative. I actually did fail my seventh grade English class. Did you really? You want to know why? The teacher despised me. Hated me so much to the point where he failed me and put me in a remedial English class the next year. My, my teacher who taught the remedial English class came up to me and said, you don't belong in this class. And I said, I know. Oh. Shout out Mr. Wolfman. F you. I remember you telling me this. F you. I can't believe I got that wrong. And you were a horrible DJ. He used to DJ on like his like part-time job was like DJing. That's disgusting. He called himself like the wolf. <laughs> my favorite author is Mitch Albin. Okay. My favorite Pokemon is Charizard. Okay. And I scared Nick Jonas once. Your favorite Pokemon is Charizard. Your favorite Pokemon is Dying. It's Dragonite. It's Dragonite. It's Dragonite. It's Dragonite. It's Dragonite. It's Dragonite. It's your Pokemon is Dragonite. I think that's the only time you've ever remembered it. Yes. Did you guys see my brain process? I did a meeting greet for Nick Jonas once, and while I was walking away, I realized that I forgot to tell him something that was very important. So I quickly turned around, ran back over to him, and whispered in his ear like this. 
You're my favorite Jonas. <laughs> I've never seen a man so scared in my life. <laughs> and, and then one will get to even better. Two years later, the guy who I went with, Zach, met Joe Jonas when he was at DMCE, did the same exact thing. <laughs> I saw Joe in DMCE. I literally, I high-fived him. Remember he, oh no, you were, I you there, were that a was student. The year, yeah. yeah, that was the DMCE year before me. came to my school. I literally, me and my friend Meg were like rocking in the front row. We touched, we touched Joe Jonas's hand. Oh my God, I, I, that video in there. It's tied. So this is like the tiebreaker. I ripped my pants on the bus in elementary school. I have a BDSM fetish. I once did it in the parking lot of the science building at school. I didn't even know that last one. Awesome. It was you. I'm gonna go with you ripped your pants. No, actually, what am I saying? No, no, I, what am I, I saying? Did, yo, veto, you got it wrong. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You think I have a BDSM fetish? <laughs> well, maybe we're gonna get weird after this. Oh my god. I did, I did rip my pants in elementary school. I don't <laughs> have a BDSM fetish. I didn't know how to react to the whole science thing. Open your mouth. No, I'm lactose intolerant. Oh yeah. That was boring. Oh, I didn't mean for that. Okay, right? I've never been to a high school party. I used to host a radio show about the entertainment industry and all the news about celebrities. And I used to collect hot figurines. You, you used to run a radio show, but it, it, it wasn't about Celebrities and news, was it? Is that your final answer? Yeah. You're great. Yes. My radio show was about video games and movies. Ready? Mm -hmm. A short film that I made when I was 13 has 40,000 views on YouTube. I got escorted home by police in high school from a party, and I have never seen The Notebook. I know about the film. I, I feel like you've never seen The Notebook because I've never seen The Notebook and I've asked you to watch it and you won't. And you said you were escorted home. I never heard that story before though. No, I'm gonna guess that the lie is that you were escorted home by the police. Yes. I have never been escorted by police home from. Yes. I was about to say, I'm like, I knew about the video because I watched the film. It used to be up on YouTube, but we took it down. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. I've been collecting sneakers since middle school. I used to play college level video games, like esports. When I used to drink, my favorite drink was Corona Extra. Oh. oh. I don't know how long you've been collecting shoes for. Something that about that just sounds wrong to me. But I feel like, I feel like it's wrong, but also I feel like it's not wrong. I'm gonna go with the Corona. I love you, but you're wrong. Middle school, I've been I've been collecting sneakers since high school. You're cheating! I'm not cheating! You're cheating! I'm not! These are... You... It's Ugh. two truths and a lie. Simba. Boop. Oh! <laughs> So the score is still 2-2. Two, two. My initials are ABC. One time I farted while I was having sex and I did it in a dressing room at Macy's. The fake one is doing a dressing room at Macy's. Your initials are ABC. You farted while we were having sex before. Um, I don't think 
I farted while yes, I was with yes, you? Yes, it was with me. No, it wasn't. We, you have. I'm I have thinking of a very different time. Oh, shit. You still fart. Up. No, you straight up farted one time. I never no, laughed I so didn't. hard. Yes, you did. I've never laughed so hard, and you felt so self conscious. No, I, I didn't. I f Austin. Either way, still fart. No, it's not. <laughs> one comes out of your and one comes out of your butt. Either way, it's the Macy's. Yes, it is the Macy's. <laughs> It's the Macy's one. It's still 2-2, two, two, right? No, you have three now. Oh, because I got it right, I have three. So if I don't get this one right, then I win. I win. So this is the final question. Final question. I... Okay. For the final question, if you get this wrong, you get pie to the face. First one. Mm -hmm. The first instrument I ever played was a violin. I used to play tackle football. I once had a knife pulled on me twice by a member of Twisted Sister. You didn't play tackle football. You're right. I'm right? You're right. Oh it's 3-3. Three, three. I was We're like, two, two, Austin three, isn't three. athletic at all. I tried. For this last two questions, Instead of finding the lie, we're going to find the truth. So I'm gonna give Austin three statements. Two of them are lies and one of them is true. So he's gonna to have to pick out the truth, not the lie. Ready? Mm -hmm. So the first alcohol I ever drank was Malibu. The first alcohol I ever drank was UV blue. Or the first alcohol I ever drank was Fireball. Which one is it? Okay. I know your favorite drink is Malibu, but I feel like that wouldn't be the first drink you tried. I feel like if you were to try Fireball first, that's just, oh, damn. And, and UV Blue, I haven't even heard of UV Blue in years. UV Blue. Okay, ready? Prior to TikTok, prior to TikTok, which situation did I encounter the most fame? As in whether it be views, likes, or anything. Prior to TikTok, so like imagine before TikTok, where did I have like my most quote unquote fame. Mm -hmm. A YouTube video I was in, a photo that was posted on Instagram, or the radio show I was a part of. Well, it's definitely not the radio show, a photo you took. So the photo I took was for John Bellion, and it was uploaded to Visionary Music Group's Instagram and Twitter, and got about 10,000 likes across both platforms combined. But the YouTube video was an interview I did with a member of FaZe Clan that got over 350,000 views. I celebrated too early. Lexi is today's loser, but we are coming to a close. Austin, no, that's enough. We are coming to Austin, a close. Austin, that's enough. I love you, give me a kiss. Oh. Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> I probably didn't shove the plate in my face. <laughs> well, thank you for watching today. If you did enjoy and you want to come back, hit that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. What are you going to do with this?